FDA finishes food labels for how we eat now Washington, major changes to nutrition labels on food packages became final on Friday, with calorie counts now shown in large type and portion sizes that reflect how much Americans actually eat. It was the first significant redrawing of the nutrition information on food labels since the federal government started requiring them in the early 1990s. Those labels were based on eating habits and nutrition data from the 1970s and 80s and before portion sizes expanded significantly. Federal health officials argued that the changes were needed to bring labels into step with the reality of the modern American diet. The Food and Drug Administration proposed the changes in 2014, but consumer advocates worry that many of the major elements would not survive lobbying by the powerful food industry. A number of companies vigorously opposed, for example, a separate line for added sugars. But the final rule, announced by Michelle Obama on Friday, mostly remained intact, including the line on added sugars. This has to be scored as a huge win, said Marion Nestle, a professor in the Department of Nutrition, Food Studies and Public Health at New York University. The FDA's final rules confirm what the agency proposed originally on the most important elements. The big ones, calories, added sugars, survived. The changes jump out. The calories are in large bold numbers, and are easier to spot at a glance. A single ice cream serving is two-thirds of a cup, compared with the current half cup. Most food manufacturers will be required to use the new label by July 2018. Producers with less than $10 million in annual food sales will have an additional year to comply. Millions of Americans pay attention to food labels. The changes are meant to make them easier to understand, a critical step in an era when more than one-third of adults are obese, public health experts say. The epidemic has caused rates of diabetes to soar and has increased risks for cancer, heart disease and stroke. Comments from companies and trade associations seem to reflect acceptance. The American Beverage Association said its members had already put clearer calorie counts on the front of beverage bottles as a part of Miss Obama's Let's Move campaign. campaign.